بكم The case of the day for a housemaid 25 years old Indonesian nationality complaining of uh, fever, uh, cough and weight loss chest x-ray was done revealed uh, this is the chest x-ray of the patient revealed uh, innumerable uh, micronodules distributed diffusely in both lungs involving all the segments of both lungs as you see here no significant pleural effusion could be appreciated. After that, CT was requested with intravenous contrast administration for more clarification. This is a CT study for done for the patient with intravenous contrast administration here in the mediastinal window. We can appreciate we have enhanced lymph nodes seen in the prevascular area and another one seen in the paratracheal area and another one seen in the right hilar region as you see here. So we have uh, multiple and another one also seen in the left hilar uh, region. So we have multiple mediastinal lymph nodes enlargement, some of them showing uh, enhancement. Uh, this regarding the mediastinal window. Also there is no evidence of pleural effusion could be appreciated from uh, these images. If we go for the lung window here, we can appreciate innumerable micronodules diffusely distributed in both lungs, involving all the segments of both lungs, as you see here. So this is a classical picture of micronodules or miliary shadowing. So what do we have? We have innumerable micronodules distributed diffusely in both lungs. In the last episode, we mentioned the difference between micronodules and the nodules and we said in a nodule less than 3 mm in the lung we call it a micronodule or miliary shadowing what is the differential diagnosis of miliary shadowing in the lung the differential diagnosis is number one miliary tuberculosis number two histoplasmosis number three chicken box number four sarcoidosis Number five, pneumoconiosis. Number six, metastasis. Number seven, alveolar microlithiasis. Number eight, Langerhans cell histocytosis. So we can further subdivide this E differential diagnosis by using the different radiological features or using the clinical data of the patient. From the clinical data, we have one symptom here. It can further subdivide our wide differential diagnosis, which is fever. So if the patient is feverish, we have only three differential diagnoses. If the patient has no fever, we have five differential diagnoses. So if we have miliary shadowing in the lung and the patient has fever, the three differential diagnoses will be tuberculosis on top of the rest and chicken box and also the histoplasmosis and if the patient has no fever the differential diagnosis will be the remaining five differential diagnoses so the patient here he has fever so the differential diagnosis will be either miliary TB or chicken box or histoplasmosis I can execute histoplasmosis because we are living here in Saudi Arabia and this disease is endemic in South America and also I can exclude the chicken box because the clinician he doesn't raise the possibility of chicken box because the patient he has no skin rashes or other signs and symptoms of the chicken box. The remaining diagnosis is miliary TB. What is the miliary TB? Miliary TB it is a hematogenous spread of TB. It can follow the primary TB and it can also follow the reactivation of the primary TB. So this is our case of today, case of miliary TB. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.